plus hardware. I like two weeks being 16 years old when I went to work there. And on my birthday, we went to lunch at a restaurant next door, and some of the workers knew about my birthday, and so they started congratulating me on my 16th birthday. Control is only the field job I've ever had in my life. When you don't do school, you are not capable, you're not, you don't have a resume that will entice people to give you a job. Consequently, I had to work hard and stay with the job that I had. Not pest control is very kind. They gave me a job when I was 70 years old. So there's no Easy road ahead, it don't look like. Knox does an excellent job, and I am most proud. Every time I talk to anybody about Knox Pest Control, they say, I know Knox, they do an excellent job. In BNI, I have had numbers of people that have said, Joe, we want to use Knox Pest Control because of your service record. I know so and so, I know this one, I know that one that you've done work for, and should I stop and let someone come in? No, I think so. <clears throat> and we would like to give you an opportunity to service our business or service our home. Knox was founded in 1929 in and around Columbus, Georgia. Uh, the people who founded it were hardworking people. Today, the man that founded Knox Pest Control, Mr. Knox Sr., is still active in the company, comes into the office three days a week, and does a super good job of going over certain elements of the company. We can do specialty work such as bed bugs. Nobody likes to think about bed bugs. I would never have dreamed bed bugs would be an issue when I was a child and I went to stay with my flora, and I wound up with bites on my body. And when I went home, mother got all upset and said, my goodness, she's got bed bugs. But they are something very prevalent. We've had several motels in Birmingham, Alabama, that have been shut down for as much as a week's time due to bed bugs. We do an excellent job with termite control. People do not realize you've seen the commercial that one of our competitors uses where these jaws are carrying at the wall in a house. And they say termites are a terrible thing. They're not doing it with big jaws. They're doing it with little bitty jaws, but they'll eat your house down around you. We do an excellent job with mosquito control. If you've got an outing schedule this weekend and you're going to be outdoors, you do not want your children, your small ones, to be bitten all over by mosquitoes. Give us a call. We'll take care of the mosquito control. We have specialists trained to call for any pest control issue you may have. We remove possums. We, we, we remove coons. We remove dogs, cats, stray animals. We try to remove them safely put them in a place where they receive the proper care rather than just eliminate them. If we can help you in any way with any of these particular problems, we would be glad to do so. I am on call, and my number is on my card. I'm on call seven days a week. If you have an issue, you have a problem that you need help with, please give me a call. I'd love to work with you to get your issue resolved. Real estate companies, and the performer gives us their opportunities to serve in real estate closings, and we thank them for their business. Many of you personally uh, have come to us and we've serviced your home. Please, we love to be of service. Our charge is at a minimal. Our, our ability to do a good job 
is at a maximum. We train all of our technicians, go through training twice a year to make sure we're up to date on the proper chemicals to use, uh, the proper exposure to different types of animals, your children. Don't just let a trucker pull up to your door, knock on the door and say, for $25, I'll treat your house for pests. You don't know what they may leave behind. So please, use a trusted company. Use someone that is bonded. Use someone that is properly insured. And use someone that is properly trained. I'm not going to go my full 10 minutes. You will appreciate that because I'm leaving this afternoon going to Orange Beach and won't be back till Tuesday. And I'm excited about getting away. <laughs> Joel Smith of Knox Pass Control, if we can help you, please call. Joel, I've got a quick question. Bed bugs are something that for many, many years were in isolated areas. Um, I cannot give you a technical reason for where, or, or explanation for where they came from. But we're a very transient society today. You could be in Bangladesh in a hotel, set your suitcase down, and bed bugs get on your suitcase. They arrive for free from Bangladesh to Atlanta, Georia. You'll pick your case up, put it in your car, at home with you, set it down in your carpet, those bed bugs would jump off the suitcase onto your carpet, and you have bed bugs. Are they microscopic, or can you see them in your eye? You can see them. Uh, you have to look for them. Their favorite place to inhabit is in a mattress or a pillow. They will get around the well of a mattress, and they'll climb up in there, and they'll stay there. Your body puts off food every night when you go to bed they put off food for bed bugs the skin the perspiration the excretions of <laughs> your body feed these critters oh my goodness <laughs> and they can live for months and months without touching anybody just from eating what's available in the bed they are they're not near as dangerous as they are. They're like fleas on a cat uh, or fleas on a dog. They have to be at an infestious rate there in order for them to become a serious problem. Uh, but no one, if you've ever seen it, wants their children to have bites on the insides of their legs or bites. They go for the tenderest part of your body, and they will leave signs of where they have been if they get on to. We brought a baseball team from out of state. We put them up for a weekend tournament in a hotel very near to here. And about one o'clock, one of their children, one of the people staying here, one of their children woke them up in the middle of the night and said, something's biting me all over. And they had red spots all over their body. Uh, upon examining uh, the child in the bed, they found the bed bugs. The manager didn't have any more rooms available, and they had to move to another hotel. It's not just a cheap hotel. It is all types of businesses, all types of hotels, all types of homes. Bed bugs are found in Greystone, they're found in Mountain Brook, and they're found in Angeli. They're not respected persons as to who they will attack. <laughs> You've got to have a professional do it. I'm not going to go try and eradicate the bed bugs all across the If you're going to try to eradicate bed bugs, the best thing to do is put it in a dumpster. That does not eliminate them from your carpet. But when we come in to treat it, we have certain uh, technicians that treat just for bed bugs. They use chemicals. They take everything out of the room and they treat the room. Then as they put things like bed, uh, bed steads. They'll look on the back of the bed board and they will, they will treat the back of that bed board to get rid of bed bugs. Uh, chairs, sofas, uh, pieces of clothing. 
they, they, will, they will treat all of them to make sure there, there are no bed bugs there. So spraying your hotel said with Lysol is not going to help? Lysol will not affect it. They'll just be clean smelling. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we, we are certified uh, to give bed bug treatment. Uh, we were certified before the mattress companies came out with their protective devices. Uh, let me tell you, a, a liner that you put on the outside of a mattress and zip it up uh, that's made from nylon, uh, it'll prevent bed bugs from getting on the mattress 99.9% .9 of the times. However, it does not prevent it from getting on the headboard, on the rails, on the carpet, the chair that's in the room. So don't feel like just by buying a mattress liner that you pay three times the price for from a mattress company. Don't feel like that's going to prevent you from having bed bugs. Roaches, ain't. I had a sandwich yesterday in a restaurant that has told me for six months we don't need your service. While I was sitting there, a roach ran across the floor. Does that, does that make it an unsanitary place to eat? Nah. Probably never did touch a bite of food anybody ever ate. But Americans are psyched out. We don't like critters. Mm -mm. You're kind of helping that. <laughs> Any other questions? <laughs> yep. I'm sleeping in my car and bringing my own sandwich. Yes, I've got the treat. <laughs> I have the opportunity to treat it. All right, we got our. Uh